hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's lesson i'm going to show you on how to go about uh, this assignment on the c basically on functions and uh, nested uh, loops before we dive in on uh, the questions ensure that you go through the already provided material whereby you learn on how to for this one, these are a short video which will show you on how to work on the loops. Then this one is for the function. This one is on uh, learning on to program in C. Then the purpose of a function prototype in the NS file. Then the general instruction. What are the nested? The objective at the end of the day, you are expecting to be able to at least to state what is a nested loops and how the, the function what the function, how to how to use the function, the difference between declaration and definition of function, what is a prototype, scope or, scope of variables, what are the GCC flags, what are the hands files, and uh, how to use them with the, the include. Then the general instruction, you're allowed to use the VI, then you can read the, the instructions the, as you can see them. So the most important part is uh, how to tackle the task, which is a little bit different compared to the other tasks that you have already covered in the other videos or in the other classes. But before that, I hope that uh, you have managed to answer the question that uh, the few quizzes that are always tested before the actual coding. And these are the answers, which is not so much important as long as you have already gone through the provided resources, you will find the question a little bit easier for you. For example, we have um, what are the ASI2 value for negative, supposed to be 45, for these ones supposed to be 97. Then uh, number two, which of these loops statement does not exist, is supposed to be each for each and the loop two. In fact, you I hope that you have taken time to go through the material, the resource that has been provided. You will learn something small on the for, the while, and the do while. Okay, let me check. In fact, okay, maybe you can have a brief, uh, brief something on for the for. For the for, we deal with the when we know the exact how many times you want to loop through a block of code you we use the for well well uh, for the while the while loops loop through a block of code as long as the specified condition is uh, true while for the do while for the do while this loop will execute the code blocks once before checking if the condition is true then it will repeat the loop as the if the condition is true. So those are some of the small things that you should be knowing. But as long as you go through the, the providing material, it will be quite easy. Then for number three, it's supposed to be 53, the value for 553, the value for 3, 3, 12, supposed to be 0. Then for supposed to be 2, 74 for J, 0, supposed to be 48. And uh, a capital A sixty five. That other one is supposed to be five. And lastly, we have the zero. Okay, let's dive to the task because the task is the most challenging part uh, for most of us. I've already done the task, but I will show you step by step on how to go about it. So step number one: open your sandbox. There it goes. So try to see what you have already record, what you have already. So our assignment, just as part of the instruction, we have been told that, uh, okay, let me try to hide this one so that I can have sufficient time to show you. So for question number one, the question is, you write a program that reads, put, which are followed by a new line. Now look at the condition. The program should return zero. Then uh, it should be the GitHub 
repository is supposed to be ALX low level programming. Then for the function and uh, nest and loops, then the first file should be zero char C. Okay, so we had already in the previous uh, task, we had already prepared, uh, we had already done uh, the ALX. We had already cloned uh, this repo. So the only new thing that we have is the directory. Okay, so we have already opened our sandbox. So the most important part, copy this one, copy the name of uh, the director that you want to create. And remember, I've already created the, the directory. Okay, let me try to open uh, my directory, which is the ALX low level. Okay, CD. I hope that uh, you are following. Hope I'm not uh, being so fast, either too slow. Okay. Okay, let me see what is inside. So those are the things that I have already in my ALX low level programming. So this that this now the this is my directory. 002 function nest and loops. Okay, to make my work easy, uh, let me try to create another one. But uh, ensure that you follow the instructions I do. Okay, so it's supposed to be make uh, directory. The name of the directory is supposed to be uh, 002 function nest and loops. Okay, let me add it two so that uh, we can distinguish this one and uh, this other one, the one that I already prepared. Okay, let me see. Lists. So it is, uh, where is it? This one. I hope that you can see. So this is the director that I've been able to create, but as per the instruction, it's not supposed to have these two. Okay, let me try to open it. CD. Page. Then enter. Let me see whether there's anything inside. So it is an empty one. Okay, let's go back to the instruction. The instruction is you are supposed to, or your file should have end with a new line, then uh, number four, a readme file at the root of the folder of the project is mandatory. So you have to include that. I hope you remember the procedure. So on this one, vi readme dot md. Okay, so it will take me to this other part. So for you to write something, press the i, Okay, most of the time I prefer to to give uh, my readme file this one, the name of the assignment or rather the task. So my task is uh, 002C function and that's the end. Okay, next I press escape, call on WQ, then takes me back to this other part. So let me see what is already inside. So you can see that I've already included the readme file in my directory as per the instruction. Okay, step number two. Having done that, the next step is to, to go to, let me see. Okay, from this one, we have, uh, we have uh, this part, we have the main and we have the picture. So you have to start with the, with the main before you move to Puchar. Okay, just as you can see, this is my previous file that I'd already prepared. Uh, where is it? This one, vi main. Okay, so next step, vi, then I'll, I've already prepared um, my cards. Okay, where is it? It's supposed to be the last part. I will share this one on my video at the description part so you don't have to worry where to get it so here is the code this is the main okay this is supposed to be vi main h enter insert this is the most important part if at all you wish to include this part in your in your coding you will definitely get an error. Okay, having done that, next. Okay. 
So I'm through with that other part. So the next part is the push up. This part, this one. Okay, I've already prepared the code. Suppose be VI. VI push up. You copy this part as it is. Don't leave anything outside. Okay, then I will do the paste thing. Okay, insert, then I copy my code. This is the code, copy as it is, all the way to the last part. Okay, then I do the pasting. Escape. Okay, so I'm through that part. So having done that, now let's move now to the actual assignment. Those are the major part, the most important part that you're supposed to do. So for this one, you are supposed to, the name of the file is supposed to be zero, which are C. So what you are supposed to do, copy this one, then uh, VI, VI, you have the VI, enter button to take me to the next part now come on this one and uh, copy the code at the r so copy this part and, uh, Okay, escape. Okay, move to the next part. Okay, before I go to that other part, there's a missing part which I'm supposed to include. So we're supposed to have the I. Then uh, copy, copy, copy. So I'm through with the, our number one, the zero push charge. Then number two, you write a function that prints the halber bits in your case, followed by a new line. So this is the procedure that you're supposed to do. Now copy, copy the name of your file, copy this part. Now. Be careful on uh, number two going forward to the last part. Be high, then I'll paste, then you have that part, insert, then I'll copy my code. This is the code that I'm supposed to copy up to that point. Then I paste. Escape, the queue. Okay, then after doing that, before you move now to the task number two, remember for number one, you do it as it is, but for number two and other numbers that are number three, four, all the way to number 13, you are supposed to make two procedures. Okay, on this one, you copy VI, then on this one, we have card, this one. Remember the rules of the cut? You cut this part, cut, then you paste, paste on, paste that part. Okay, insert. Then next step, copy this part from uh, this one all the way to that point. Okay, then you paste. Then escape, colon, enter. So we are through with the one number one. Let's move to number two, which happened to be the number three. Then for number two, we are supposed to have, we are supposed to write a function that prints 10, 10 times the alphabet in the lowercase followed by a new line. Now the prototype, this one, you can use the chart twice in your code. Okay, so copy the file name. So paste on your sandbox, enter. 
insert your content, go to my code, copy, copy the code as it is. Okay, paste, then escape column, WQ, enter button, then the same procedure that we have done on the earlier number one, you redo it on number two. So go to VI again, then on number two, on the top part, then we have the cut. Number two main C, copy, then you paste. Then again, copy this part. Then insert, paste, then um, escape, colon, WQ, enter button. Then we will do it on number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. So we will do a number six, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, let me pick another number. Let me try to do num number number 10 because the procedure is the same. What I'm trying to do is that uh, I need to help you to try to do it by yourself rather than having to follow everything that I'm doing in, uh, in my video. Okay, let me do on uh, number, number 10. For number 10, I'll go slow again. VI, then I'll go all the way to number 10. There's my number 10. My number 10 is here. Copy the name of the file. See, add. Then I paste. I paste here. Enter button. Insert. Then I go to my code, code for number 10 is number 10, number 10, number 10, number 10. So I'll copy, copy the code. Then you paste. Escape, hold on, WQ. Then uh, to do the same same procedure on number 10 bi copy copy this copy this copy the wrong thing so copy this copy this part you need to copy the right thing for you to get the correct uh, outcome okay next enter button then insert then uh, copy this other part. Then uh, paste. Escape colon WQ. Okay, so we are through with the one number ten. So the rest you can uh, you can. You can just watch as I try to solve them from number 11. So keep on uh, watching as I do the rest of the numbers.
hope you are still watching what I'm doing. In case you have any question, you can uh, comment on the uh, comment section. I will be able to clarify what uh, you never got to understand. This is a very simple concept as long as you, you go through the material that has been provided. Then for number, this is number, number 13. paste escape colon q then um, does this have in part two let me check so for note for number 13 that is uh, if we list all the natural number below 10 there are multiples of three or five for for number 13 and the number 14 15 and 16 you will not do step number two We'll just go on and uh, create the other file for the other numbers. Okay, next part we have the I. Okay, same this. Let me see. I'm trying to save time so that to take the shortest time possible for you to get this one. Okay, then move to the next number. And our next number is uh, that 15. And I remember what I've said for number 1 1. You'll only do step number one, you create the file. So I'm through. Now the next step, having created all the, let me see, having created all the files. Now if you can look at uh, my other assignments, it was supposed to be like this. So you are supposed to have uh, files in this nature. We have 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10. But uh, from number 11, you create only 11. We have uh, we have uh, 100, 100, 1, 2, and uh, the 3. Okay, now let's move to the next part. Now, there is uh, something which is uh, we need to do, which is our last part. Now, can you go back to number 2? Because number one does not have it, you copy the the GCC for every. You copy the small part now from this one, copy this one. So you copy. So you go to your sandbox, then you paste, enter. 
then you go to the the other number you do the same you copy the j s s all the way to that other part copy then you paste then you do the same to number two copy the small part all the way to there copy then you paste then you do the same to number number three copy this one okay then copy the next number number four so ensure that uh, you copy from uh, where the jcc starts from to the last part of that line then you paste on your and your terminal okay okay so you do that all the way to to the to number let me see all the way to number um, It's supposed to be to number let me see number okay to number okay we can do for number number 11 this is number 11 okay copy for number 11 copy this part copy then paste do the same to number 12 Remember, you are supposed to do for all the numbers with the exception of, I just show you, we are about to reach that point, paste. Okay, so you are supposed to copy the GCC file with the exception of uh, number 14 because number 14 does not have it. And number 15 still does not have it. Number 16, the same does not have it. Now, after you have done that, you'll be able now to, you can try to list. You can try to list, uh, list your, your file. So these are the files that have been able to create so far. You'll see that we have two files. One is in green color where that one is a red, the white color. Okay, having done that, uh, the next step, what you are supposed to do, just you can see, this now my, the way they look at uh, my assignment, or rather my task. Okay, now the next part, you are supposed now to get hard, get hard, so you get hard, your file, then you git commit. Then you can leave a message. It's supposed to be nested. Oops. Then uh, enter button. Then uh, the next step you're supposed to have the git the git push so you can see that uh, we have pushed our our directory to the master just as you can see so those are the steps that you are supposed to to follow for you to do this assignment okay i will try to to run this one uh, so that the command for number one number two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15. Then at the bottom, we have the picture and the main H. 
So just take your time, follow the procedures as I have listed them. You start with the main, then you move to Puchar, then you create your files. I think I've uh, just explained to you in the simplest language. So in case you come in across any challenge, don't forget to comment. I will go through all the comment on the comment section and I'll try to give them the best solution based on my knowledge. So thank you for taking time to watch uh, this video. Don't forget to like, to share and also to subscribe. Let's continue supporting this channel so that you can help those other the programmers that we have have a lovely day. Take your time as you watch uh, the last bit of my my cards.